My name is Stephen Padgett, and I'm a rheumatologist at Hospital for Special Surgery in New York. Today, we're going to focus on the use of the sedimentation rate and C-reactive protein in the diagnosis and treatment of polymyalgia rheumatica. PMR has been recognized for almost 100 years, but its real definition is a clinical entity occurred in the landmark study of Davison, Spira, and Plotz performed at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York in 1966. They defined the illness as the one we know today and enabled physicians to differentiate it from rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia, and viral syndromes. An elevated sedimentation rate and C-reactive protein were key findings in this highly inflammatory and steroid responsive illness and continue to be so today. The importance of C-reactive protein derives from its stimulatory effect of the pro-inflammatory cytokine IL-6 on the liver in the setting of inflammation. In PMR, IL-6 and IL-6 receptor levels are elevated and correlate with pain. In 1966, Connie Weyand, in her landmark study, showed that temporal arteries from patients with only PMR and not giant cell arteritis contained IL-6. CRP is a better indicator of inflammation than ESR. It is more sensitive and responds more quickly to change in the clinical situation. False negatives and false positives result are more common when measuring ESR. Renal disease, female sex, and older age increase ESR. In lupus, elevated CRP often reflects infection, not active disease. The CRP is nearly always elevated in PMR. In two reports, an elevated ESR of greater than 30 millimeters per hour were noted in 91 to 94 percent of patients at the time of diagnosis of PMR while 99% of such patients had an increased elevated CRP of greater than five milligrams per liter. Patients vary as to which of these acute phase reactants best correlates with their inflammatory state and has to be defined by you, their physician. Superimposed infections can also have an effect upon these. Most recent studies on the effectiveness of IL-6 inhibitors in the treatment of PMR employed the C-reactive protein as a sign of inflammation. The treatment of PMR demands a thoughtful clinician who is constantly balancing the patient's symptoms, comorbidities, laboratory tests, and side effects. As Harry Spira said, do not chase the sed rate because you may up with higher cumulative levels and side effects in this elderly population.